guys, it's Elizabeth from Madero Vlog Moments, and it is puppy week on my channel, which means I'm sharing with you guys all things puppy. We just got a new miniature schnauzer, and his name is Kona. <laughs> Hello to you. And I asked on Instagram before we got him, where, what did you think we named him? And um, actually, one of you actually guessed that we named him Kona. And we did, and it's after our favorite restaurant at Disney, Kona Cafe. Now we also love Kona Coffee, and here where we live we have an icy truck called Kona Ice. And Kona Coffee, Kona Cafe, Kona Ice, yeah that's what he's named after, and he's super cute. He was the rent of the litter. So first of all is a kennel. I will show, I'm not going to bring it over here and show you. You can get whichever one you want. You want your puppy to be able to stand up and turn around in it. They want to be able to move a little bit. We also got a puppy bed so it's a little bit more cozy in there. Now, another thing you're really going to need is some puppy dishes. And you want to keep them in a central location and not move it around so they kind of get the hang of where they're going to be. So I will show you guys a picture of what our dishes look like. We actually got them from TJ Maxx and they're really cute polka dots. And I'll say this now so I don't have to say it again and again, but anything that I can find um, similar or the same, I will link down below so if you're looking for these same items. Uh, but. I got it from TJ Maxx, the dishes, and then I um, have a friend that made us labels to put on it. The next thing I really think is super duper important is toys. <laughs> Maybe you're thinking I was going to say something else, but toys are super important because they are teething. And so they are going to be biting your fingers, your shoes, your stuff, your furniture. And to get them to, um, because their teeth, you know, they're teething and they're going to get rid of those baby puppy teeth and they're going to be getting big teeth. You want them to chew on stuff that's safe for them. So I went and I got a plethora of different toys because there's different shapes, sizes, and textures for them to chew on. And this will save your home and your fingers and your shoes. So get up all the stuff that you don't want them chewing on. And then every time they get bored or you see them chewing on something they're not supposed to, you're like, here you go, and you make it make the noise, and then you give it to them. Now, um, all of his stuff I tried to get like a central color, and you'll notice that teal is a running theme because that's my favorite color, but I like to get the puppy um, all the same stuff. And so, you know, you can kind of tell it's their thing. But I got this little guy from Walmart, and he's little, and he's got a squeaker in the middle. And then this is his best friend. This is a raccoon I got actually from Target. I don't remember the line. Um, he likes chewing on this as much as he does the tag. But there's a couple things. There's a crinkle up here. There's a squeaker somewhere. There it is. There's also a rope. So there's lots of textures for that chewing. There's little spots to bite as well as bigger. And then he can cart this around the house. It's probably just as big as he is. Uh, a couple more. Another favorite of his is just this poof. It's like a ball, but it's not. It's made out of like fleece. And I'm, I'm pretty sure I got this a long time ago at Walmart. Um, and then two of his favorites are bones. This is a Hearts DuraPlay and it's kind of indestructible, but it's rubber. It does a really awful squeak. He doesn't get it to do that. I do, and then I'll throw it and he'll go play for it. But it's a really soft, rubbery texture. And so he really likes that. And then I think this is probably the favorite of the bunch, if I've already said that a few times. I mean, this is what he really goes for. These are the Nyla Bones, and they are rubber, but they're meat flavored. So this one I think is chicken, and there's a couple others that we have around the house, but this is the puppy one. I don't know if you can see, it's pretty bendable, um, but he can't chew it or like, he can't swallow it, so he can't break off pieces. If you see it starting to get mangled, you can take it away and give him a new one. But they also have ones that are for grown-up dogs that are a little bit harder. But this is really good for them right now because they're teething. A couple more I picked up. This one again is from Walmart, but it's an egg. <laughs> and more fun sounds. Uh, for training, we're going to start doggy puppy training. And I may share, if you guys are interested in these kinds of videos on this vlog channel, let me know in the comments below and I will keep it up. But we... Um, are going to start puppy training and I will share with you guys what I'm learning if you guys want to see more puppy stuff. Uh, but for training we needed little tiny treats and so these are natural soft chews, grilled chicken and cheese flavor. It has no corn, no wheat, no soy and it's from the Blue Dog Bakery. I think I picked these up at PetSmart um, or Target, I can't remember. Again I'll link everything I can. We got him a 
little dog collar that says Kona, but it has our information on it, so I won't show you if I can find the picture of the same one. Had our information personalized, and then we got the small teal dog collar, and they have these in different colors, but it's really tiny because he's super tiny right now, um, but he'll get bigger. We also got a flexible leash. These are my favorite for, for walking them. You can lock it here. So if you only want them to be a short distance, but this is my absolute favorite leash. This is called a flexi leash. We're going to need to get one that's not movable like this for um, dog training class. But for right now, this is the one we have at our house and I love, love, love this one for going on walks. I can let it go really far if we wanna let them explore, but we can also rein them in and keep them close if we need to. I got um, this housebreaking potty training spray. So this is an attractant pheromone scent and it teaches them how to use the restroom, restroom, like they're using a restroom, pee outside and you spray it in a certain spot so that when they go outside, they're not hunting around the backyard to try to find a spot to go. They go in the same spot every time. So when they do pee inside, when little Kona's peeing inside, my favorite household cleaner to clean it up is natural, chemical-free, safe for him, uh, thieves and this is from Young Living we sell Young Living but we all because we love it so much so if you want more information on thieves household cleaner this has this incredible scent it's clove lemon cinnamon bark eucalyptus and rosemary and your house will smell amazing it almost smells like Christmas time but it's natural and safe to have around babies and pets. So this is what we use. We clean our furniture with it, our bathroom counters and our toilets, but this is really great for cleaning up the pee and the poo when you do it on the inside of the house. Let me know in the comments down below, what is your must have doggy item when you're bringing a puppy home? Let's continue the discussion down below. I just wanted to share with you a few of my must haves that made the transition a lot simpler. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to check out our main channel, we talk about health, wellness, and all things essential oils on Madero Green Moments. Um, I'll leave that link down below. And if you want to see more photos and adventures of Kona, check out my Instagram, Madero Green Moments. All right, thanks, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.